Americans are struggling. They're feeling bootstrapped. They're feeling like uh, they just cannot make ends meet. And that is why Trump was such a popular candidate. Now, a lot of people say, yeah, but Trump's not one of them. I mean, look at him. He's a billionaire. He was born into it. I totally understand that. But working class Americans see a man who eats McDonald's, watches Fox News, and dips his steak in ketchup. He also talks like he has a fifth grade education, and he's crass, and he's loud, and he doesn't give a damn. And to them, that's one of them. That's who he is. He's one of them. He just happens to have a billion bucks and a hot wife. So for them, they're looking at him. They're like, yeah, man, that's the man I want to be. Never mind he was born into it. You and I understand that. But the fact is, is that he represents to many people in America themselves, themselves with success. And so that's why so many people voted for him. They thought they felt because voting is often emotional. They felt like Donald Trump shows the way forward. Donald Trump is one of them. And he is now uh, showing the way of how you know, make America great again. So to think that a centrist, somebody like Bloomberg or even Hillary Clinton, who already tried and failed in 2016, to think that one of them could come forward and beat Donald Trump is delusional. You're just not paying attention to reality. And the reality is populism is here. So here's the thing. Bernie Sanders is winning the race. I've said this before. We have an, an excellent, incredibly popular candidate. His name is Bernie Sanders. Why won't the Democratic Party get behind him? You've got a guy who's received over 1 million individual donors. He has thousands upon thousands of people showing up to his rallies. He has AOC on the campaign trail with him, and you know how popular she is. But none of this is making news. None of this is being talked about. They're not talking about Sanders. They rarely mention him. When they mention anyone, it's Elizabeth Warren, which I've always held that I believe that mainstream media and the elites prop up Elizabeth Warren, not because they like her. Now, I know she's kind of a mixed candidate as well. She's a mixed bag. She's not fully progressive. She's not fully elitist. It's kind of she's kind of in this weird space. But believe me, the elites don't want her. They don't want her. They're afraid of her. They're afraid of her kind of populism because it is still a form of populism. They're afraid of it. They don't like it. So they're boosting her to take away votes from Bernie Sanders. They're hoping to split the progressive base, to split this momentum that Bernie Sanders started to gain in 2016, that he's continued to gain now. And they're hoping that that would be funneled towards a more centrist candidate. They were hoping, obviously, for Biden, for Harris. Uh, now they're kind of putting things on Buttigieg. And apparently people have now talked to this uh, Massachusetts governor guy into running, thinking that that's a good idea. So... Let's talk about this distraction of impeachment. Now, this is one of the reasons why we're not hearing about Bernie Sanders and AOC on the campaign trail. Remember the day back when when all the news was AOC, AOC, AOC. OK, so you would think that people would be talking about this now that she's campaigning with Bernie Sanders, but it's never it's never talked about. Why? Well, because everybody's distracted with impeachment. That is what's going on. This is a distraction. Uh, look, everybody knows Trump's not going to be removed from office. It's just not going to happen. The Senate is filled with Republicans. They're not going to get him. He's just not going to be removed. They're not going to vote for that. So you already know this. So going through this charade is really just out of principle. So when you say, well, why are we doing this if he's not going to be removed? They say, well, it's out of principle because nobody's above the law. Well, then when you point out that the actual event that they're citing is worthy of impeachment was not actually a crime. Now, I get it. Ethically, uh, the motive that Trump had for asking the Ukrainian president to investigate the Bidens, the, the, the motive is definitely not okay. But the action is still not a crime. Uh, president's are allowed, it's part of the office to strong arm foreign nations and foreign leaders and withhold aid and withhold money until they do what we want. Guess what? We do it all the time. Venezuela, Syria. And in those cases, it's the worst in the worst way possible. With Syria and Venezuela, we've said we're sanctioning you. We're withholding everything we've got. We're not allowing you to have anything. And, and in fact, we're going to tank your economy until you get rid of your your presidents. So we're actually going out of our way to meddle fully in their governments, to meddle with their presidential elections, to meddle with their government. And that is just, you know, par for the course. So 
the actual action itself is not a crime. The issue is the motive. Why did Trump do it? That's where it becomes sinister because he's using our tax dollars to potentially uh, strong arm this president into doing what he wants for his own political gain. Totally am on board with the fact that that's sinister, except one big problem. Zelensky from Ukraine said he didn't even know he was being blackmailed. He didn't know he was in the middle of this quid pro quo. He didn't know about the withholding of aid. He didn't know that that was being withheld because of the, the Biden investigation. He didn't know any of this stuff. So for him, he's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't feel victimized. I didn't feel like I was pressured. It wasn't even brought up. So now it's all these people just saying, well, uh, we believe that this is why Trump was doing it. We have reason to believe this is why, even though they don't have any hard, pro hard, fast evidence of it. So this impeachment, uh, when you point this out, when you say, well, it's not actually crime, the, the, the actual act, they say, well, you know, but impeachment's not a court of law. So uh, the law doesn't matter. It's like, wait a minute. I thought the reason why we we're impeaching him was because nobody's above the law. So which is it? Which is it? Well, here is what it is. You're not allowed to, to attack the political elite. So Nancy Pelosi made it, made it known for a while that she was unwilling to go down the impeachment road because she knew, one, it would boost Trump and it would harm the Democrats. And whichever Democrat was winning in the pre presidential uh, primary and was up to face Trump is probably going to have a really difficult time 